Welcome to another Pirate Sound video. This is the amp I'm going to call Gibby because it's got a Gibson GA20 circuit built into a Bell and Howell chassis, which I got so excited about I forgot to put knobs on it. I'm going to have to do that. But anyway, it's a Bell and Howell Filmo Sound speaker cabinet circa probably late 50s, early 60s. You can see the innards. Get a little bit of light in there. That's the original speaker. 25 watt, 16 ohm Jensen Alnico. Sounds excellent. There's the chassis. I forget if that was from a 202 or a 285. It was one of the ones that didn't actually come with a power transformer, so I added one to it that there without the shadow getting in the way that is something that they started doing back in the day to try and uh, save a few bucks on power transformers at the expense of safety and things like that because without a power transformer you're just plugging directly into your wall outlet and it caused problems and hazards this was kind of cool came off of the old projector that donated this amplifier it says silent and sound I left that Sound means on, in case you were wondering. Uh, this is a little switch that goes from high to low power mode. Down is actually high power, up is low power. And what that does is cuts your output volume pretty much in half by changing the configuration of the 6v6 output tubes from pentode to triode. If you don't understand what that means, ignore it. It just means that it makes it about half as loud. And it does change the sound a little bit too, so uh, use at your discretion. It's got a pilot light that could probably be seen from space. I gotta put a different lens on the front of that. I kept the two separate inputs. One's labeled microphone, one's labeled phonograph. The microphone input is a 6SJ7 tube, which is a pentode. The phonograph input is a 6SL7. The phonograph input has a little bit less gain, different sound character. It's very similar to a 12AX7, which is probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular, preamp tube for guitar amps. The 6SJ7 is what the original Gibson GA20 amps came with. It tends to be a little bit louder. It has a different character to the sound. Not really sure how to best describe it. To me, it sounds a little richer. It brings out more harmonics and overtones. That's how it sounds to me. As for the modifications I made to the original Gibson GA20 circuit, this is the volume for the microphone input, quote unquote. This is the volume for the phonograph input, quote unquote. These have switches in them. If you pull it out like that, it makes it brighter. It puts a cap across the volume pot, kind of bypasses it, but only for some of the high frequencies. It's most noticeable at low volumes. Tone up about halfway. So that's with the guitar volume about two thirds of the way up, tone all the way up amp volume very low. Then you do this. So that's just a little bright boost by pulling the volume pot. Particularly on humbuckers, something like a Les Pauls where you'll notice it the most. That's a single coil pickup. That's a single coil with the guitar up all the way, by the way. Without the bright switch. Again, it's most noticeable at really low volumes. As you turn it up, it has less and less of an effect. And 
that's with the tone up all the way. With the bright switch in. crisp sort of single coil, a little more volume. Starting to get a little bit of break up there. Here's the humbucker. So that's the microphone input. Here's the phonograph input. different kind of tube, keep in mind. Same thing, you pull the switch out, it's the bright switch. So now, what happens if you can't decide which input you like better? Well, guess what? There's another switch. If you pull out the tone pot, the microphone input feeds both inputs. And both volume controls are active, both bright switches are active. So, turn this up for the pentode preamp. Turn this up for triode preamp. Then you can blend them together any way you like. You make this one bright. You can make this one lower or louder. Make this one brighter. more gain out of it. it starts to break up a little bit earlier because you're pushing two tubes instead of one that's with this single coil by the way 